Cockroaches on wards, maggots in a mortuary and rodents in the kitchen are some of the issues reported by NHS hospitals over the last three years, according to new figures. During that time, 18,000 pest problems have been reported by England's hospitals. A Freedom of Information request by the Liberal Democrats found one hospital had reported black insects biting the legs of staff and that the whole building had a fly infestation as well as animal noises coming from inside the walls. Another hospital revealed rat droppings had been discovered in a body bag, while another found a dead headless pigeon. A spokesperson for the Department of Health and Social Care said that individual NHS organisations are legally responsible for maintaining their estates, including pest control, stressing that patient safety is vital. According to the Lib Dems, the bill to fix the infestations is said to exceed £3 million. It added that some hospitals didn't respond to the requests, so the problem could in fact be much bigger. The party did state that one trust noted 156 incidents of pests, when in fact these are proactive weekly call-outs over the last three years. Liberal Democrat leader Ed Davey said, These are shocking revelations and another sign our hospitals are no longer up to scratch for sick patients and hard-working staff. In people's hour of need, they need to be safe from bugs and rodents. Instead, Wards are falling apart at the seams, with foul pests allowed to roam freely. This is a national scandal. Conservative ministers must act now to bring forward emergency funds for crumbling and unhygienic hospitals. A Department of Health and Social Care spokesperson said, individual NHS organisations are legally responsible for maintaining their estates, including pest control. Patient safety is vital, and the government has invested significant sums to upgrade and modernise NHS buildings so staff have the facilities needed to provide world-class care for patients, including £4.2 billion this financial year.